Okay, uh, welcome back everybody. Uh, for this video we'll be discussing two examples of the synthesis problems I've come up with. And uh, the synthesis problems have everything of everything we have learned to date. Um, the electrophilic aromatic substitution reactions, um, the reactions of the substituents on the aromatic rings it has all the stuff we have learned incorporated in these problems. So this will really give you understanding of where you stand and where you lack certain knowledge. So um, let's get started. The first problem that I have come up with is this one. We want to form this product from this starting material and um, we have a bromine right here and a purple group right there. We want to form this product with a carboxylic acid in this position and a methyl group in this position. So I did this in two steps. Um, and again, uh, most of you guys might have different synthetic pathways, and that's perfectly all right. It's just that your pathways has to make sense. So let's get started. Um, what I first did for the first step was that I used potassium permanganate, H plus and heat, to change this piece right here to a carboxylic acid. And since this falls in, it follows the criteria that it has to have at least one hydrogen present on the carbon directly connected to the aromatic ring, we could proceed with this reaction. So the product I yield from this step is this, a carboxylic acid and in this position. Next thing I did was I alkylated the system. This bromine is a weak electron withdrawing group. This carboxylic acid is a moderate electron withdrawing group. And so this bromine wins out and it directs the incoming alkyl group. Okay? So if you remember and recall back to the previous videos that bromine does not follow the typical electron withdrawing group style of directing the incoming group to the meta position. Halogens are the exception. They direct the incoming group to the ortho and para position and since the product we want uh, the methyl group is in the para position that's the only product that will draw in this synthetic pathway problem so we alkylate it and then we have our methyl group in the para position so there you have it two step mechanism i mean two step uh, synthetic pathway to form our product from this starting material right here so again, a quick little recap. You have this aromatic ring, bromine, alkyl group, potassium permanganate, H plus heat will be the first step. The, first, the reagents you use to change this into the carboxylic acid. Alkylate it, the bromine directs to the pair position and the ortho position. You have two products, but since we only want the one with the methyl group in the pair position, that's what we'll draw. So the next example, I'll go with you guys step by step and it's the starting material is an aromatic ring okay with an NH2 group hanging off of it and what we want to do is form aromatic ring with a carboxylic acid in this position and a butyl group one two three four four yeah good in that position and maintain our NH2 group in this position I may have to move on to a separate piece of paper because this is a pretty long synthesis problem it's actually seven steps so let's get right into it the first thing what I did and what I came up with is that if you have your aromatic ring right with the NH2 I did the field crafts isolation some of you might be saying like wait I thought you said you can't do that I thought those were the rules if you have NH2 NO2 or um, or a strong electron withdrawing group you can't do field crafts alkylation or isolation but in my previous video I think this the second part to this topic I said that you can isolate 
a NH2 group to form uh, to have a amide and that's what we're going to do the product of this step will be this nitrogen here you have one H there you have the lone pairs there right and you'll have your amide right there your acyl group is right there now the second uh, the second step that I did was that I used I did the AC, the acylation reaction again now since this is not an H2 anymore you can do the friedel Krauss acylation alkylation and um, this is an electron donating group so this will direct to the ortho and para position but since I know and I already have imagined what my product is going to look like I'm only going to draw the product of this step with the acyl group in the para position okay that's what I'm going to draw so ALCO3 you have your acyl group in this position right there and then you have your NH lone pairs there amide right there okay there's two products but since we want this one I know I know what I've, I've imagined what I what the steps are going to look like so I'm only going to focus on the acyl group in the para position not in the ortho position so next what I did was for step three I used H2 palladium carbon catalyst okay and what that's going to do is going to completely get rid of that uh, C double bonded C double bond O it's going to deoxygenate it and give you an alkyl group or give you an ethyl group so the product from this step will be an alkyl group right and then you'll have your N still here and your in your uh, and your amide right there. Now, the fourth step, what I did was I did the acylation once more. Okay, I did the Friedel Krauss acylation once more, and I used a different type of R group. I used a three carbon chain one two three yeah and then a l c l three right and that's going to substitute into this position right here in the ortho position again this is a stronger electron donating group than this since it does it by resonance and this goes by inductive effect so this will direct to the ortho position right here so this the new ACO group, the incoming ACO group will be attached there. So the product from this step, step I believe four, will be you have your still you have your NH one pair, your amide, right? You have your aromatic ring, right? You have your ethyl group still there. Now you have your ACO group attached there. So, so one, two, three, two, so one, two, three. Okay? So that's your new ACO group attached to that position. So, what did I do next? After I did the field crafts acylation, I did the KMNO4H plus heat step. So, KMNO4. H plus heat and what that did is that it got rid of this and changed it into a carboxylic acid and that's one of the things we want a carboxylic acid and since this has one two it has two H's it follows that criteria remember you need at least one H in order to do a Friedel Crafts I mean excuse me 
you need to have at least one H on the carbon directly attached to the aromatic ring in order to oxidize it and form a carboxylic acid in order to do this reaction and that's what we're going to do so the product from this step will be you have your aromatic ring right you have your carboxylic acid now you still have your acyl group attached in that position which is this little ketone right and you still have this N H and you still have that your amide now since we ran out, ran out of room I'm going to move on to a, another piece of paper hold on one second So the following step after this, got okay, like this. Okay. So the next step, what I did from here is from here I regenerated my NH2 group, my amine. How did I do that? I used H plus, which is a proton source, and H2O, and that gave me this product from this step you have your carboxylic acid you have now your NH2 right you have your NH2 and you still have your this little ketone right here now what I did the final step, I use H2 palladium carbon catalyst again. H2 palladium carbon to get rid of this and give us our 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon chain. And the final product we end up with so have our carboxylic acid still have our NH2 and all we have now is our alkyl group and some of you guys may, might be wondering that wait doesn't this H2 palladium carbon uh, catalyst step get rid of, rid of this C double bonded O thing right here well it doesn't because if you remember it has to be a ketone or an aldehyde and over here we have a ketone this is a carboxylic acid so you can't deoxygenate this piece over here and there you have it. Let's do a little quick recap of this uh, uh, synthesis problem. Okay. First thing, you're starting off with uh, this right here, this NH2 on the aromatic ring. Um, then you you want to form this. First step, what I did, I isolated it, this nitrogen, and you have this little amide here. It's an electron donating group. Um, I did the free cross isolation once more and it, it substituted the H for this acyl group at this pair position and I picked the pair position product and I focused on that because I knew that is what's going to form this product this and this ortho position which is one of the other products I didn't really focus on it because I recognized that it wouldn't really work it may it may work in a really long sentence type of problem but I recognize that this would be the thing that we, will, that we will be dealing with in order to form this product. So the next step that I did was the H2 palladium carbon catalyst step. Gets rid of that C double bonded O, deoxygenates it, forms our uh, our um, our alkyl group. I did the Friedel Crafts acylation once more, um, and that substituted into the system in the ortho position because this is stronger than this and it will direct it to this position to the ortho then I did the KMNO4 H plus heat step and it changed our alkyl group to a carboxylic acid well right now I'm running out of time and I'm in the, in the last video which is I mean in the last part I'll finish up this uh, this recap so please stay tuned